I know that in, you know, the person who did, you know, the work before I did, I know that he took, um, you know, his journey with traditional tobacco and he um, started to grow it and see the entire process from the seedling all the way to the traditional tobacco that we use within our ceremonies and things like that. And I always thought that was really awesome. And I started with that journey this summer. I had tobacco plants that were given to me in the spring. And then I, with my parents' help, I, we planted it and we just picked off some of the, um, leaves that dry out and then that make the tobacco. So it's been a real interesting process for me to like see it grow every day from like a little tiny seed all the way up to like, not as big as I normally get because I it's only on my porch, but like um, it's grown and I can see this journey of, you know, this sacred medicine and I can talk about it with people and I can say, Hey, you know, like nurturing this plant, making sure it gets water, making sure it gets sunlight and going from the seedling to traditional tobacco that we use in our ceremonies is such a huge um, it's a long process, but you know, it's so worth it to say like I grew and I harvested this tobacco that's being used. And, you know, that again, puts more emphasis on the sacred traditional use versus, you know, the commercial tobacco that's grown and mass produced and then enhanced with all these chemicals and things like that. So it's really like just babying this, uh, plant and then seeing the end result has been really, um, fulfilling for me 